Courtauld 2, uh, in comparison to Courtauld 1, has changed, it's developed, it's grown. And the way that it's grown is, in Courtauld 1, we were talking about household waste, household food and household packaging waste. Courtauld 2 is looking at household waste, but we're also looking at waste in the supply chain. So waste from food manufacturing, waste from the retail environment, as well as waste in distribution as well. So it's looking at that integrated chain and how we can look at using resources in that chain more efficiently. In particular, the target for the Courtauld commitment on the supply chain is a 5% reduction in waste being generated. So it's focusing on waste prevention rather than waste management. As an example, if we take a pack of mints, um, it's got a seal round that pack for that film on the top. If that film hasn't been tested properly, so um, in terms of its integrity, so making sure there's no leaks in it, it could generate waste either in the, uh, for the retailer or for the householder. But the solution actually arises with the, the way that meat has been packed. So if you go back to the way that it's been packed, and look at how that seal has been tested and improve those, that's where the solution is to reduce the waste further down the chain. We believe that the target 5% reduction is both challenging and realistic in terms of the timescales of, of delivery. What we're focusing on is waste prevention, so it's moving that mindset within the industry and in terms of waste management, and there's a lot of very good waste management practices going on um, in retail, in manufacturing, in distribution, to moving them to think about stopping that waste arising in the first place. And it, it means that there needs to be an integrated, so people need to work together um, across businesses, across their supply chain to deliver this target. The supply chain target, 5% reduction, is a challenging target, but attached with that has a number of benefits, both commercial as well as environmental. An example of this is if you're a food manufacturer and you're selling, sending your waste product um, through to animal feed. That could be generating you a nice £30 per tonne. You're managing your waste, you're not sending it to, <coughs> to landfill. It's a great, great solution. However, if we look at changing the hearts and minds, moving away from looking at how we're managing waste to looking at the cost of the raw materials originally, what we'd be seeing is that cost of that raw materials is probably £600 a tonne in the first place. So you may be generating a small amount of money through um, sending that waste to animal feed, but actually the cost to your business through loss of raw materials and through not managing those resources is as efficiently as you could is actually much greater. We've done some baseline studies to identify waste in the chain, so waste in food manufacturing, waste in retail environment as well. What we've got to do is actually understand and develop more detailed maps of where and why waste has arisen. And we're doing that through um, some work called resource mapping. First ones we've carried out are looking at fruit and vegetables, the next one's fish, the next one's meat. And from those, we're looking at waste being generated all the way through the chain. So for fruit and vegetables, it's from the farm all the way through to the fork. Understanding how much waste is arising, understanding the reasons why it arises and looking at what the solutions are. So how can we reduce that waste arising in the first place? RAP will um, give support signatures to the Courtauld Commitment Phase 2 um, and that support could be for example through um, industry working groups. Um, there's one that we're developing at the moment working with the Food and Drink Federation on looking at ways of reducing um, the amount of packaging used on raw ingredients. So they're the, the ingredients coming into the manufacturing side. So we need to bring uh, potentially the food manufacturers, the retailers together to look at those solutions and delivering those solutions. Mm -hmm.